Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Crystal. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I happen to be in Texas, Denton to be specific, and um, I wanted to just check in with you and let you know what was going on with me because I had an interesting week last week and it provided me with a lot of information and knowledge. You know, a girl is always looking to up level and expand her consciousness and just try to get it together. It doesn't matter how old you are on this planet, you're always trying to get it together and always do better and always just go higher. So I spent last week, as some of you know, because I mentioned that I was going to do this, I spent last week just taking care of myself, trying to, trying to. I actually entered the week of my staycation in resistance about it because I have like in the back of my mind, I'm always like, oh my God, you have so much to do. Like, can you just pretend that you're on a staycation and, and just work maybe six hours a day? Like I had this resistance to it to just slowing down, but I made myself do it and it helped that my doctor said I ought to do it. It helped that I had friends who said that I should also do it, not the least of which was my husband, who was also home. And so he was able to say, you're not doing it though, you, you need to do that, you need to just rest. So I entered the week in a little bit of resistance knowing how much I have on my plate, but as the week progressed, I really was able to get a sense of the contrast of it all, the contrast of it all. And I typically think of contrast as something that shows the difference between another thing. Like So through contrast, you can see another thing more clearly. And the contrast, a lot of times, can be conflict, it can be challenge, it can be those things that really cause us to struggle. And we can make a couple of choices when we're in that space of struggle. We can say, okay, well, I'm gonna just struggle. I'm gonna stay here in the struggle of it all and I'm gonna extend this karmic phase and I'm gonna be in the struggle for longer than I need to because I'm reacting to it. Or you can be in the struggle for the space of time that it's called for you to be there. and check it out and look at the contrast that it's providing. Look at the information that it's providing. Wow, I'm really in resistance here. I'm really in challenge here. Why? And I'm always telling you guys that challenge, tension, reaction, triggered reactions are always invitations to deeper work. And so if you find yourself in resistance or like having a hard time accepting something, that's an invitation. That's actually spirit or source giving you an opportunity to clear something out of your life or out of your the space of your life. I, I like to call the patterns that we house within ourselves, these um, beliefs, these offenses, these sort of paradigms. I like to call these the bodies within the body because we host and house these energy patterns that literally end up dictating how we conduct ourselves. And so contrast and challenge is always an opportunity to say, hey, where does that originate though? Where's that coming from? And how can I bring that into the light? And so the contrast that I was feeling or the resistance that I was feeling at the beginning of the week was really a heads up for me. Like, wow, why are you so needing of this faster pace. Like why do you need to feel like I have to have my hands in all the pots, make sure everybody's doing what they need to do, what am I doing, am I making sure the project's on track? Like why, why do you feel the need to do that? Because Crystal, don't you know that that's opposite really of the energy of source. Source is all about flow. Source is about dipping your toe in the river of life, y'all, and just letting that river take you where you're supposed to go. But when you're like, no, I got to have my hand in this. No, I got to push this project through. No, I got to make that, sh don't swear, make that happen for me. Like that's not flow. And so the resistance pointed to the areas in my life where I wasn't flowing. And when you're not flowing, what aren't you doing? You're not trusting. You're not trusting. When you're not flowing, it means you need to control it. Why? Because you don't trust source to do it. You don't trust that river of life that will take you to your ultimate destination. You think, no, I have to get in my boat. I got to row. I got to row real hard, usually against the current, usually upstream, making it that much harder for yourself. And, you know, I always think, well, I learned that lesson. I learned the lesson of flow, and I understand that, I've got to 
always be in that energetic position of thy will be done because the source knows, higher self knows, I am knows what it is that I came here to do. And I am will guide me there. Source will guide me there. And if I'm trying to row my dinghy, my boat, I'm going to have a hard time. So I notice, whoa, I'm trying to row. I'm really trying to row in my life and I need to like set the oars down, just stay in this little boat on this beautiful river and see where I go. And in the meantime, enjoy the ride. Enjoy it. Look at the river banks and the beautiful flowers. Look at the trees. Enjoy the sun. Like, enjoy the experience. I wasn't doing that. And I have to continue to be mindful about that because I get all stressed out about accomplishing, making sure I'm doing, to-do list checking. I get all stressed out about that, that I'm really not checking out all of the things that are so good in my life, all the blessings that I have. So I'm thankful. I was actually really worried about you guys. I was like, oh my God, they're going to think I abandoned them. Oh my God, they're going to think I don't care about them. And while I did hear from you guys, The letters and the messages that I received were very supportive and people offering just like love and light and healing and we're just sending that. Thank you. Thank you. Like I needed that space held while spirit dealt with me about my stuff. And aren't I always saying that life is about your stuff? It is. Life is about your stuff and excavating, getting into all the patterns, the bodies within the bodies, excavating and pulling it out and bringing the light into the space of the damage, bringing the light into the space of the shadow, just allowing source energy to do what source energy knows how to do. That's the work. And for some of us, boy, we have a lot of stuff, don't we? We came into this life and immediately were hurled into massive circumstances that began to shape us in a certain direction. And the rest of our lives have been spent trying to undo the programming of that, the bodies within the bodies, finding the body within the body. Because sometimes those bodies within the body, they like to hide. They like to hide in different things. In Hawaii, we have this philosophy of these sort of sentient beings called Uhani Noho that kind of hide within different wounds in the body, different areas of dissonance within the body. They like to be in not the darkness, but like not in the lightness. But when we bring in the light through working with the vibration or just awareness and becoming mindful of things, we point that spotlight of source into all the bodies within the bodies, the the Uhani Noho, and we start rooting them out and we begin to find the balance and see That's what I need to do. I needed to find the balance and it's a work in progress. By forcing myself really, that sounds hard. It wasn't forcing, but just by by making a discipline out of resting and observing and napping. My God, correct me if I'm wrong. There's nothing better than a big, fat, delicious, luxurious three hour nap in the middle of the day. Like just YOLO. I'm going to bed. I know it's noon. (laughs) I know that everybody out there is working and stuff, but like, I'm just going to go hit that bed and go to sleep. There's nothing better. It's just such self care when you're able to do that. Being able to spend a week doing that showed me kind of in the pendulum swing of the contrast where I needed to be in the middle. So now this week, back at it, got a lot of things on the plate, but having experienced just the little pleasures of taking care of myself and having time to myself just to think for the love of God, like, can I just think, showed me where I need to be to take care of myself as I go forward, because there's a lot coming down the pike. And I've mentioned over the last couple of months, you know, getting older, you and I remember my mom saying this, do you remember the, the elders saying this? Well, I know I'm 60, but I feel like I'm 18 in here. I literally feel like I'm 18 in here. My mom used to say that all the time. I get it. I get it older now. In my mind and in my spirit, I don't feel old. But in my body, I've got to make sure I'm taking care of myself so that I can do what I came here to do. So for me, that's checking out the contrast. It's always accepting the invitation of the work to go deeper and to look and to see where the bodies are within the body, clearing that out, giving myself some love, giving myself some goodies, giving myself some naps. It was really restorative and really, really wonderful. So thank you for just all of the well wishes. Thank you for 
not getting all crazy and unsubscribing because I wasn't here for a week, although I showed up. I couldn't help myself, but thank you. I really appreciate it. And um, back, I'm back to it. I mean, the thing I miss the most, actually the thing I love to do the most is kind of just get up and talk to you honestly. It's what I love to do. So more videos this week. I've got some stuff for you patrons out there. I'm gonna be doing some activations for my patrons. Now, and if you don't know, I have a Patreon account. I do not run ads anymore on my videos because that's lame, okay? Lame. And I want you guys to have a good experience without having to purchase like YouTube bread and not have to watch ads. I want you guys to be able to, to hear what Spirit has to say. So I have moved it all over to Patreon and I've got some awesome patrons and I wanna thank you guys. And for those of you who are patrons, I'm gonna be doing some activations and some attunements. What's an attunement? Well, an attunement is a channeled energetic adjustment that gives you what it is that you need to get to the next level in your life, whatever that means for you. I don't need to know what that means for you as a channel. All I need to do is be the instrument that brings it forward. And so I'm going to be giving that to my patrons. And if you're interested in becoming a patron, I want to thank you. And all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash crystal and Compton. Don't forget the E in Ann. You'll never see it. Crystal Ann Compton at patreon.com. Every buck helps to just keep me doing what I came here to do. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everybody. And I will see you again, hopefully tomorrow.